You can smell yourself, the people around you can smell you. Avoid that. Come close to the screen. Avoid that. <laughs>to my channel it's Tishinga here for those of you who do not know in this video as it says in the title I will be doing a girl talk yay it's been forever since I've done one of these so if you're interested in the video please keep on watching so let's get right into it the first thing that I think is the most important and I cannot cannot stress this enough you need to wash your vagina every single day you cannot go a day like okay you can't start your day leave you can't leave the house basically with your vagina being dirty it's bound to smell it's like not bathing you're gonna smell we're human we sweat so does she so she needs a quick you know before you leave the house and even on days where you feel okay, okay, uh, I'm not gonna bath today, I'm not gonna shower, which is bad. Bath. Don't be a dirty hun. Don't be a dirty babe. You do not want to be a dirty babe. Every day, wash. Even on days where you dirty babes feel like you're not gonna wash, yeah? Don't involve her in your plans. You need to wash her. Every single day. So... What I do is two to three times a week, I use Dove, like, you know, the bar soap. I didn't bring it, obviously, for the video. I don't know why, but I use the Dove soap. It's really, really sensitive, and it has no fragrance. A quick three times a week would do. You don't want to use soap in your vagina. Do not put anything up there, because you're going to open doors for bacterial vaginosis and yeast infection and... You just don't want that because when you've got an infection, you smell. And that's exactly what we are trying to avoid. Great. So what I do, next tip is that you need to keep your vagina at least trimmed at all times. I like personally to keep it shaved. I don't like any hair down there because hair traps in moisture. Yeah. And when there's moisture there's way for bacteria to grow and binary fusion basically takes place you know what i'm saying then when there's a lot of okay so we have we have good bacteria and bad bacteria in our bodies the good bacteria is good the bad bacteria is bad the bacteria that comes from too much moisture is bad and when there's a lot of bacteria you again open doors for yeast infections and bacterial vaginosis which come with a smell you want to avoid those vaginal infections because they aren't good for you first of all and they smell dog like infections aren't good like you know they stink and that's exactly what we are trying to avoid you need to drink water this is very self-explanatory water is really good for our body like more than 70 percent of our body is made from water so if you are not giving your body the amount of water that it needs systems are going to fail to function the way they need to function your vagina cleans itself and it needs water to do that discharge is good because it means your vagina is healthy and it means that it's cleaning itself out so drink water what goes inside comes out water also helps you flush out all the negative things that you don't need in your vagina do you get me sis cool next is you need to eat fruit and vegetables listen to your parents you need to eat that it's good for you it's healthy you need i can't stress it enough you need to eat fruits like pineapples um cranberries you need to have um citrus fruits are really good as well for maintaining a healthy smelling vagina you need to eat fruit and vegetables because again what you put inside is what comes out so if you're constantly eating um sweets for example sweets are made with a lot of chemicals that aren't good for 
the human body so if you continue eating every day every day you're having sweets you're drinking cold drink you are having mcdonald's every day you are um eating stylos or ghost lows, whatever every single day that is bound to maintain maintain that is bound to set off like to put off your um vaginal ph because you know it has a ph and guys first of all first of all before i go any further than the, like before i move on with the video every single person has their own vaginal odor you will not smell like like flowers or a candy or whatever you hear about in these songs you won't smell like that because everyone has a natural scent and the natural scent that you have is the one that you've got to maintain okay disclaimer i had to put that out there quickly because you lot are out there listening to people oh yeah smells like roses don't let them lie to you don't be lied to don't be lied to okay so eat your fruits and your vegetables because what you put in your body is exactly what's going to come out of it don't forget that then you need to shy away from too much red meat and too much too much and too much caffeine so again it ties with the whole thing of what you put in is what you're going to get out when it comes to coffee yeah i want you to think about this if it has ever happened to you or whatever caffeine is really strong okay and the smell of coffee can put off the smell of your vagina what i mean by that is you know when you drink a lot of substances that aren't water you have a, like your pee turns um like a yellowish or like an orangish color if you don't drink water it's the same thing with caffeine and red meat if you have too much of that it disrupts again your vaginal ph which could put off your smell which is what we're trying to avoid because you do not want a vagina that stank and honestly like if you can smell yourself like if you can be like if you're like and then you can smell like something is funny here yeah, then other, like the people around you can smell you as well if you can smell yourself the people around you can smell you avoid that guys don't stink we don't stand smelly vaginas in 2020 and moving on do you get me we want to smell good all the time it's also a confidence booster guys smelling like knowing that you smell good that you're clean it's like okay no one can tell me because I know I washed today I did this today I did, did you get some that in mind um keep the area dry at all times so you want to keep your vagina dry all the time all the time because okay i'll give you an example say you go for swimming you swim yeah and your costume is wet as soon as you step out of the pool take your costume or your bikini off take it off because again you're gonna trap moisture and you're gonna cause yeast infections and wet garments just they don't smell good you don't want to have a smelly garment and then against your vagina and then it's just hmm, you don't want that okay like it's not something that we are going for it's not something that we want we don't want smelly vaginas and you can avoid that by taking your costume off as soon as you leave the pool so what i suggest is wear panty liners so that you don't wet your underwear because if your underwear is wet then it's bound to smell so rather wear a panty liner so that your garment does not get wet because listen we are women okay our body is very complex and our vagina cleans itself out which means you 
are going to like this child is gonna come out and that's good because it means like your vagina is healthy and it's cleaning itself out don't be scared of discharge because discharge is good it means that you are healthy and your vagina is doing what it's supposed to do great wear cotton underwear i can't stress this enough cotton is really breathable so it lets your coochie breathe when she needs to breathe imagine the whole time being suffocated avoid it avoid it which also means don't wear jeans or pants that are too tight you don't want to put too much pressure on your vagina because dog she's suffocating she needs to breathe it's a living organism so obviously it needs oxygen and wearing cotton underwear will provide the oxygen that it needs the last tip and again guys remember this is everything that i do and i have not had any problems with this so No, I mean, do it. Okay. Sleep with no underwear. And I know people are going to be like, Woo! Ah! Make it, don't make noise for me. Okay. Sister, don't make a noise for me. If you don't want to sleep with no underwear, wear really loose shorts. The reason I'm saying this, it ties with the um, tip that came before it. Your vagina needs some breathing time. You need to let her breathe because if you don't you're gonna start smelling like fish and other things that again we don't want we want to avoid do you get me so yeah guys I think I've given you about eight or nine tips on how to keep your vagina smelling good you know I'm saying so um, yeah if you enjoyed the video please be sure to like comment and subscribe and uh, turn your post notifications on so you get informed when i upload new videos uh yeah bye see you in the next video